Hello everyone, this is Utkarsh from Fintry and we are going to do a small video tutorial on how to calculate the monthly installment that we have to pay every time we take a loan. How to find out that every time we pay some installment, how much of that installment is made of interest and how much of that is principal. So basically that we are going to prepare a table where we will try to find out that total installments, the amount of interest for each installment, the amount of principal, total payment made and how the value of loan is reducing over the period of time and this particular table is called as amortization table. So let us start. These are the specifics which are given to us. Amount of loan is 70 lakhs. The tenure of the loan is 25 years. Rate of interest per annum is 15%. Since we are going to make payment monthly, our installment compounding is going to be monthly. Number of months are 300 which is simply calculated as 25 into 12. We would also calculate the monthly interest rate. So monthly interest rate for us is simply going to be 15% per annum divided by 12 months. So the monthly interest rate is going to be, let me just change the formatting, 1.25%. With this information, we can start building our amortization table. So let's start here. The first column would be number of installments that which number of installment we have. And of course, we are going to have total 300. So we would start with one, two, and then we would simply drag it up to 300. So this is my, okay. Here it is. So this is my installment number 300. Now by the time we reach installment number 300, we would expect that the amount of loan would become nil. The second column that we'll have is that what is the amount of payment that I've paid. So I will simply call it as installment paid. We also call it as EMI equated or equal monthly installments. So now, how do you calculate the amount of installment that you have to pay on this particular loan? There is a very, very simple formula in Excel that we are going to use to find out the amount of installment. That formula is called as PMT. So we would start building the formula. We will say is equal to PMT payment and it says calculate the payment of loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate, which means that we are assuming that the rate of interest is constant. It's a fixed rate loan, not a floating rate loan. So let us begin. The first thing that it is asking us is rate. And of course, it is the number that we have to input here is the fixed rate. So we are going to choose 1.25%. Now, another important thing that we are not manually inserting 1.25%, though it would give us the same answer. We are actually selecting a particular sale so that later on, if you want to change our numbers, the Excel sheet would produce the results for us directly. Now, every time I select data for this particular formula, I'm going to press a F4. What is the function of F4? So that it would freeze the sales so that when we copy paste the formula, we don't really have to worry about it. Every time we copy paste the formula, it would copy paste exactly the same set of numbers. Comma, number of periods and number of periods are 300. So we are selecting B6 and then say F4, comma, Present value, the amount of loan that we've taken, the amount of loan is 70 lakhs. So we'll select this particular cell B2 and say F4. Now we don't really worry about future value or type because there is no future value per se here. We don't have to enter anything in type because this is an end annuity. That means the first payment would be made at the end of month one. So let's close the bracket here and let's hit enter. Now, the amount of installment that we'll have to pay for this particular loan over the period of next 25 years would be 89,658. Now, why is it showing negative? Because we have taken loan of 70 lakhs. This is a positive number. Now, we have to pay installment of 89,658. So, it has to be a negative number. But for, for our calculation purpose, we want to show this as a positive number. So, I'm going to go back and change, make a slight change in the formula. 
would simply add one negative sign so that the answer comes comes out to be a positive number now once i have this we are simply going to copy paste this across the range saying that the amount of installment that i have to pay is not going to change irrespective of which installment it is so number of installment installment paid now the next column would be opening amount of principal and opening amount of principal in the first case is going to be 70 lakhs now the opening amount of principal is going to reduce over the period of time and we'll see how it reduces next column would be interest component and principal component so what does it mean it means that i have paid an installment of 89658 some part of this installment is coming because of interest and remaining part is towards repayment of principal so i want to know how much is the interest and how much is the principal now to find out interest we would simply say that what was the amount of loan 70 lakhs what is the interest rate that i have to pay per month 1.25% so the interest component is going to be 87500 another important thing that we freezed cell b7 so i pressed f4 so that this b7 does not change every time i copy paste the formula so amount of interest is 87500 which means that i am going to pay a total installment of 89658 out of which in the first installment 87500 is interest so how much is principal if total installment is 89 and total interest is 87 simply the difference between the two is going to be the principal company and once we have this we can always find out what would be the closing amount of loan or closing amount of principal and that closing amount of principal would be what was the opening amount minus how much is the principal that i have repaid So the closing amount of loan is going to be now sixty nine thousand ninety seven thousand. Again, once I have this, I would come back in the installment two. I would say what was the opening principal here? The closing of month one would be opening of month two. So simply linking this number, what would be the interest component? So copy pasting this formula here. What would be the principal component? Again, copy pasting the formula. and what would be the closing amount of loan copy pasting the formula now once we have done this then what we simply need to do is that select these four ranges double click on the drag function so that the formula would copy paste itself now let's check whether the table has been built correctly we would get to know that whether the table is built correctly if the amount of closing loan by the end of month 300 has become zero so let's go downwards and let's check whether it's coming out to be true yes the amount of loan is getting nil by the end of 300th installment which means that table is correct now let's spend some time trying to understand certain important components here the amount of installment that i pay is not changing over the period of all the 300 installments what is changing is the amount of closing loan the amount of loan is reducing in a systematic fashion and it is becoming zero by the end of month 300 and this is precisely what is called what is called as amortization in finance so simple meaning of amortization is that something that reduces in small small parts since the amount of loan is reducing in small small installment we call this as amortization the interest component is reducing over the period of time and why is it reducing we can see 87 then it is 6 85 84 why is it reducing because the amount of outstanding loan is reducing over the period of time and the principal component that i repay out of my total installment is increasing so the amount of installment that i pay is same but over the period of time the interest component of that reduces and principal component of that increases in such a fashion that when you pay your last installment see installment number 300 the amount of principal which has been repaid is 88551 and the amount of interest was only 1106 and this is how the amount of loan becomes zero thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next session